So cancer has been described by um, many people as desexualizing, and um, no matter what that cancer is, whether it would be in your breast as a woman or man perhaps, or, or prostate, um, or anywhere, and it affects us hugely in our lives. Um, however, I, I kind of felt as a, as a nurse that it was an area that I never really spoke much to patients about. And while I was completing my master's at UCL in STIs and HIV, it triggered me to think, how do I talk about sexuality with my patients? Um, and it led me to the conclusion that actually as a junior nurse I didn't really have those discussions or perhaps didn't have an awareness that I needed to. And that's what led me to start questioning um, what is the role of the nurse in, in addressing sexuality in cancer patients. Some of the main findings from the literature search were that there were models available that nurses or doctors or any health professional could use that would facilitate a conversation about sexuality. Um, the two main models that I discovered were the Plicit model and the Better model. The better model I personally related to a bit better, um, excuse the pun, um, it, it basically the letter stood for how to introduce the health professional to bringing up the topic, to educating the patient regarding it and ultimately giving patient permission to talk about their sexuality. Um, a study by Quinn and Happel was done and they used that model with a few nurses in a mental health care setting. And a year later they went back to see those nurses again and the nurses weren't using the model itself primarily in the practice but that adapted the principles into practice which was really helpful. In real life practice it's very difficult to approach patients and approach different healthcare settings with a theory and a model that we're going to apply but I think as health professionals we have a responsibility to be aware of what models exist and how we can then take those and apply those to our practice. So if we take the example of the better model, if you have an awareness of its principles, you can then introduce in your natural conversations with patients the idea that it's okay for them to talk about their sexuality. So for example, you could say to a patient, cancer has a big impact on our lives, how have you, how have you found it's affected your relationship? Or if this is something you would like to talk about, please feel free to bring it up.